A lot of YouTube channels and Facebook accounts are hacked. In the last 20 days, more than 20 hack attempts are made on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook account. I'm getting emails from hackers on my Yahoo ID and also on my official website email ID which are available in the description of every video. These email IDs has nothing to do with my YouTube channel and AdSense accounts. I'm not using a cell phone or an email ID for my accounts verification. I'm using a hardware security key so even if you have the password still you will need a registered hardware key for the successful login. These hackers are using different techniques. I'm going to share with you some screenshots. Sometimes they offer a sponsorship for making a review video by installing an application or creating an account on their website. So if you do this, your online accounts are gone in a day or so. If you don't have a highly secured two-step verification or authentication system. Security alert. To make it look real, the hacker added the word Google and look at the sender's email ID and moreover why Google will send me an email on my Yahoo ID. I'm using this email ID only for project discussions with my followers so if you get any email like this never click on any link. Invalid click activity last warning. I have been receiving emails from this email ID but I never clicked on any link and that's the reason the hacker added the last warning thing. He was trying to force me to click on the link given below which I will never do. It really doesn't make any sense why Google AdSense will send me an email about the invalid click activity which was detected on YouTube channel on my website email ID. So again the hacker is trying to make me click on this link which I'm never going to click. Bulk advertising violation. Again the hacker is trying to make it real by adding Google Ads. But look at the email ID and it is sent on my Yahoo ID which you can find in the description and comments. The hackers search for the personal information like cell phone numbers and email IDs. Never show your email IDs and cell phone numbers which are connected with your Gmail accounts. But if you are not using your cell phone number for the two-step verification that it's fine, you can use it. In my case, I'm using the hardware security key. So if you are running a YouTube channel, a website, Facebook group, Twitter, GitHub, Dropbox, etc. and you are afraid that somebody is going to hack your online accounts then you should watch this video from start to the very end because in this video you will learn how to protect your gmail accounts so that nobody can hack your youtube channel website your google adsense gmail accounts facebook account and so on using a single yubikey hardware security key The YubiKey protects your online accounts against unauthorized access by using two-factor authentication with the Yubico security key. It's the world's most protective USB security key that works with more online services apps than any other. Once registered, each service will request you to insert the Yubico PC security key into a USB port and tape the gold contact to gain access. No additional software is required and authentication is easy, fast and reliable. It is strong first or second factor authentication that does not require a battery or network connectivity. I purchased two of these. It's good to have a backup hardware key. Never purchase a single hardware key. The Yubico security key is FIDO certified and works with Google Chrome and any FIDO compliant application on Windows, Mac OS or Linux.
The Ubico hardware security key is extremely secure and durable. The security key is temper resistant, water resistant and crush resistant. These are designed to protect your online accounts from account takeovers. The YubiKey has multi-protocol support including Fido2 and Fido U2F to give you strong hardware-based authentication. Registering a YubiKey is very simple. While your Gmail account is opened, click on the Accounts and Import. In the Change Account Settings, click on the Change Password Recovery options. Scroll down and click on the two-step verification. Scroll down and click on the Get Started button. So first I'm going to activate the two-step verification using my cell phone, which I'm sure you are quite familiar with. Turn on the two-step verification. Now scroll down and click on the aid security key. Now I'm going to insert the security key in the USB port. Once the security key is inserted, tap the gold contact. A notification message will be displayed Make sure you click on the allow button and that's it. As you can see a security key has been added. You can add multiple security keys. Now to add another hardware key, simply click on the add security key and repeat the same steps. I successfully added two YubiKey hardware security keys. I'm going to access this Gmail account using the hardware security key just to make sure that the maximum security is activated. I'm going to cancel this to check if there is any other option available. Click on the try another way. As you can see my cell number is added which is not good. I have to remove this. As you know cell phone numbers can be cloned. I only want to use the hardware security key for the two-step verification. After removing my cell number, now I can only use my hardware keys. Now let's check this once again. So if this time I click on the try another way, you can see I can only use the hardware key. So right now the maximum security is activated. Now I can only log into my Gmail account using the YubiKey hardware security key. The same you can do for the Facebook, Twitter, Dropbox, GitHub etc. Using a USB adapter you can connect the YubiCo hardware security key with your cell phone. There are some other versions of the hardware security keys which support Bluetooth connectivity and NFC. For more detailed discussion, read article available on my website electronicclinic.com. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.